What's going on, people? Ignore my, I just got done waking up look, because maybe about 20 minutes ago, I just woke up, so I got that, I just woke up look, so ignore that. But anyway, I want to speak briefly about um, my son. He called himself my son. I've never heard his music. I really don't know who the brother is. Um, I've seen his name around the internet. Um, I've heard people mention my son, but I personally don't know who he is until I saw a video, a response video that he made to DJ Academic. Now, I gotta say, when I listened to that video, the way that brother contained himself, the way he came back at Academic was perfect. You would think that he was someone that was doing or that was working in a certain ministry, you know, in a church or maybe a religious organization. It was perfect. You know, the, the way the brother came back, there was no violence, the way he handled himself, he had dropped some jewels, man, some gems, whatever you want to call it. It was excellent. But then I said, well, let me go watch some other videos that this brother made, right? Because he got my attention. You know, I like that kind of talk. Well, I watched the video where he was talking about Kanye West. When Kanye West went and sat down with President Trump. And I was a bit disappointed. And then I started thinking like, well, maybe I shouldn't have spoke too quickly when, you know, I, I gave that brother props uh, for that video and the way he handled himself with DJ Academics because with the Kanye video, all I heard was a lot of Sambo Coon 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 Sambo Coon 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 all type of racial slurs thrown at another black man. These were the same racial slurs that the white supremacists used towards black Americans. I actually felt like I was on at a KKK rally or at some white supremacist YouTube channel watching a white supremacist video. That's how it made me feel. Words carry energy and the only energy this brother was displaying on that video was hatred towards Kanye West and had even said that if he was there in Kanye West's presence, he actually felt like he wanted to do physical harm to Kanye West because Kanye West sat down with Donald Trump and he felt Donald Trump used Kanye West for votes. Well, that's what the Demon Craps are doing. I talk about that all the time. That's what CNN does. That's why they play on your emotions. But what I found interesting is that you have so many so-called black Americans that go hard on other black Americans and Kanye West for their political views and because of the fact that they support Donald Trump but yet when it comes to the gangbangers, the drug dealers, the thugs, the killers, the rapists, the, the abusers of women deadbeat fathers, females out there prostituting themselves in their own communities. They give them a pass. They say nothing. They go unchecked. So why is it that you allow this poison to exist in your community? But when it comes to having your own individual political viewpoints, now you become the menace of society. You become the one that they really want to do harm to, but drug dealers that's killing your moms, that's killing your dads, that's killing your children. They talk about the opioid epidemic here in America. But yet, Kanye West is public enemy number one in the black community because he sat down with Trump. Does that make sense to you, right? So why is it that the criminals 
those that do the most harm in the black community go unchecked. But Kanye West, in his own mind, he felt he was doing a good thing. Sat down with Trump, talked about prison reform, because that's what the Democrats talked about. That's what they said they wanted until Donald Trump decided to prison reform, and now they got issues with it, right? And you guys don't even see the games that they're playing on your mind, right? So it's it's just mind-blowing to me. So his message to DJ Academic was completely ruined when I watched some of his other videos that promote violence and hatred towards each other. See, so it, mo it makes no sense to me, right? So I just thought I'd make a quick video about that. I'm not going to harp on that too long, but it's just crazy, man, that black Americans got their priorities in the wrong place, you know? Um, those that really need to be checked, see, you shouldn't even allow a drug dealer or gangbanger in your neighborhood. If you see some brothers or sisters hanging on the block, why not go out there and check them? Why not have that same feeling that you had when you wanted to put your hands on Kanye West? See, Kanye West is not a violent brother. I'm sure he can get violent in the right time or when need be, but he's doing his thing, whatever he chooses to do, like everybody else is doing. But because of the fact that he sat down with Trump, he's enemy number one in the black community. So y'all need to get your priorities straight, man. Go check them drug dealers, man. Go check them drug, them gang bangers. Go check them brothers, man, that's doing drive-by shootings and making your moms cry. You guys always attending funerals, man. Always going to a funeral. Always talking about, I'm pouring out libations for my dead homie. You know, rest in peace to my homie. Rest in peace, he's in and put angel wings on him on Facebook. Black people are so used to going to funerals. They're so used to, to, what's the term I wanna use? They're so used to being in bed with death. But when it comes to someone having a different political view, now they rage and the anger wells up inside you. You have to unsubscribe. You have to unfollow them. You call them a coon and all these racist names that white people used to call you. And you feel like putting your hands on them. But yet, the drug dealers go untouched. They're poisoning your communities. Do you realize how many brothers are locked up in the prison system? They're not there because they black or because a white man's got some type of agenda to destroy them, they're there because you allow them to exist in your hood to do the things that they do to end up in prison. Drive-by shootings, stabbings. So feedback, tell me what you think. Don't get mad at me. I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs>